Hi everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Eden Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question from MXN Dell X203, who would like to know how to pop up text when you interact with an object like a laptop or Intel papers. Okay, so this comes in two parts. There's the Intel side of it, where you can get Intel pop up when you interact with an object, and also a trigger that will display text on your screen. So I'll get into those now. This is a very much uh, going to be a tutorial about copying and pasting things to items in your mission editor. So firstly I'll get on with the Intel side of it. So I've got a playable unit. Uh, we've got a trigger here. I'll just move that trigger out there for now. So all I've done is I've placed a camping table and if you're not sure how to find stuff in the editor just go up to props and I've put in the word table and I've selected the first one which is a camping table. Um, next I've put some documents down so again just documents you can use whichever of these you like or you can um, use a uh, laptop, I guess. Um, but I always use documents just because it's simpler. Okay, so in the uh, document there, just double click on that. And we've got some code here. So this goes in the initialization or the init field. And I will paste that into the description below so you can just grab it and throw it into your mission. Um, all you've really got to uh, worry about here or think about here is this part here which is where you type in what text you want to have displayed when the Intel is opened. Um, and that is in between the uh, open bracket inverted commas you then got to close it with inverted commas um, another comma and then two inverted commas and two close brackets okay so I will paste that into the description below as the Intel code so you can grab that um, currently the text I will have displayed in the intelligence when it opens is sitrep staging area um, <clears throat> staging area is located in the vicinity of um, Danash we are. Um, there is currently light defences in the staging area, SF elements to patrol and report enemy activity as supply columns move in. That's basically you can put in there whatever text you like. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. We've got the trigger out of the way. So firstly I'll show you how that works. Okay, we're in the mission and the intelligence is on the table. When you go up to it, you will see the words take Intel. So we take the Intel and we'll actually pop the Intel message open for you. So the staging area, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we can go back to the map. We can go out of the map. Then we can go back into the map, go to Intel, and that Intel information will be there if you need to refer to it later on. So that's how you do the Intel part of it and like I said I'll paste that code in the description below so you can use that. Just remember to change whatever text in there uh, for the specific information in your mission. Okay secondly I have a trigger here and this is an area trigger so 10 by 10 by 10 well, I think it's actually more 5 by 5 by 5 but if we open this up we'll have activation type as any player present and we have a bunch of code down in this box here in the on activation field. So um, I will paste this as well um, in the description below as the text code. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into what all this does. Suffice to say that all this does is tell this trigger to pop up some text. Um, it defines the size, the color, the font, um, don't worry about these numbers here, and then spawn BIS function dynamic text 
and we've got similar stuff down here. So um, all you need to do here is to change whatever is in between the greater than and less than symbols. And again, we've got inverted commas here. We've got one word which will appear as a uh, uh, some text on the screen and then a little bit of a description here as well. Okay, I've set this trigger timer to 20 seconds. The reason I've done that is I'm going to use that in conjunction with the Intel. Okay, so when he, when the player or your player picks up the intelligence, has a quick read of it, 20 seconds later he'll get the pop-up text and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're in the mission, we've found a table, there's going to be some intel on it. I'm going to take the intel, there's uh, the intelligence there, I'm going to press escape or M to get out of that, and then within a 20 second or thereabouts time frame, the other text will pop up. There we go, Kajari. Outskirts of Danashiwa, 9th of February 2022, and the larger words down the bottom were FOB Defence. So there's some fancy text for you to, uh, to pop up. Now there's another way you can do this if you just want to interact with an object to have the text displayed without having to use the Intel or the trigger and this requires a little bit of mucking around so um, firstly what we need to do is in the laptop so we'll double click to open the laptop we've put in some code here so this add action um, I've put in there open bracket inverted comma steal information close bracket or sorry, close inverted commas, then a normal comma, space, and then in brackets, text.sqf, close inverted commas, close bracket. Okay, so now you'll have an action appear on the laptop when you approach it, which will be entitled steal information. Okay, now to use that, we need to use an SQF script and I'll explain what that is and how to use it. So here we have exactly the same code or information that I showed you earlier that was in the trigger. Okay and this is now uh, created or being used as an SQF document. Um, now in your uh, mission folder wherever your mission is mine is in missions and then fob defense all you need to do is right click go to new text document and let's name it um, testing and then we take off the txt for text and put in there sqf It'll pop up a message saying, are you sure you want to change it? Just click yes. And then we open testing. And then we paste the code into there. We save that. We go back to our mission. Open the laptop. Have that code in there. So this add action, steal information. And just to show you that this works, I'm going to type, put in there testing.sqf and click OK. And I'll show you again how that works. OK, so we're on the ground. We're in the uh, mission. We're not going to take the intel. We're just going to go to the laptop and there we have the option to steal information. So we click on that and there's the text that pops up. 
Simples. Okay, and just to show you, you can put this add action into anything. I'll go back to the Intel document. I'll take all that text out and I'll put the this add action steal information testing.sqf in there. I'll also go to this vehicle and do the same thing. And you'll see that you have the steal information option on the Intel now and it shows the text and if I go to the vehicle I have the steal information option again there you go you can play the text or additionally if you like you can have it on the trigger like we had before but it's really up to you um, how you want to do the text pop-up. Um, I'll post those codes in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.